And of course, Friday is one of the nights that Bruce checks in with us uh, with one of his island adventures. Tonight, he takes us to a one-of-a-kind store in Victoria where the setting and the search for a good read is a page-turner in itself. Another reason, Bruce says, I love this island. Well, people thought it was crazy to buy this building, a used bank building, and it had been hideously modernized. We had to restore it. You know, a lot of people had doubts about Jim Monroe's plans for a bookstore, but like others whose stories are told in the books he sells, he boldly explored new territory. The building went from vaults to volumes, balance sheets to biographies, GICs to VIPs. His first work experience after university was in retail. It was at the old Eaton's department stores. I expressed an interest in the book business when I, to the personnel manager, and he looked at me as if I was rather a strange type and said, there's no money in books. Started me out in the men's underwear section. After 12 years at Eaton's, Jim took his business sense from clothing worn undercover to what's between the covers. Throughout 50 years of book selling, there have been some challenges, like you may have heard that claim that online reading would mean the end of books. Many people actually will come in and say, oh, I started reading this on my device, and but I want it. This store prides itself in the depth of selection available to readers, something for just about any taste you can imagine, including cookbooks, new age, young age, growing up, growing your garden. You can read about travel or take a trip in your imagination. And that's actually the magic of books, that it does take, it can take you completely away into another world. I, I used to work in a cookbook store and I own many, many cookbooks. I don't actually use them that much, but I say I have great armchair meal. Stroll the aisles and let the titles capture your imagination. You can picture in your mind the thousands of stories, the hundreds of thousands of locales, and the millions of characters. One of the great experiences of a bookstore, of course, is just the browsing and looking for a story. If you look up on the walls, you'll also find a story. It's kind of a, I guess, a condensed version of a book. Each of these tapestries represents a book. Windmills and a horse, Don Quixote. A tea party, a pocket watch, and giant mushrooms, Alice in Wonderland. So, the obvious question to the book experts has to be, have you read any good books lately? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm reading one now called Canada by Richard Ford. Just as you can't judge a book by its cover, you can't always judge a store by its facade. If you've never walked through these doors to expand your imagination, you should. Read a book. Take a journey in your imagination. Monroe's books is another reason I love this island. Bruce Williams, CTV News, Victoria. All right, Bruce, thank you. If you uh, know a person, place, or a thing, an event that Bruce should visit and check out, that he'll love, uh, like the island, let us know. Email us at uh, I love this island at ctv.ca.